Well, welcome everybody. It's great to be back in Marshall and um, I'm so pleased with the weather that we have in Marshall. It seems like every time I come back in the winter it's below zero. <laughs> but it is great to be back and great to see so many faces and uh, congratulations to everyone for this wonderful event. As a head coach, I believe one of the most exciting tasks and satisfying coaches is we have is exactly what I'm doing today is uh, watching a young student athlete grow and develop into the woman and professional she is today. And really reaching the pinnacle milestone by being inducted into Southwest Hall of Honor. Janae, I hope you know I'm so proud of your accomplishments um, both on and off the court and I'm honored to be here today. I remember uh, traveling to the Twin Cities with Carmen DeCoster to go to Tartan High School to visit Janae. I remember your college visit and the day you committed to Southwest. As a volleyball coach, I always wanted to hear that volleyball was your favorite sport, but she quickly and proudly would say, my favorite sport is whatever season I'm playing in at the time. <laughs> and that held through through her entire career. I can actually say Janae was extremely fun to coach because everything was new and it was exciting to her. She was one of the hardest working players that's ever probably come through Southwest and when you always knew that she was going to give 110%. She was a true team player, a positive role model, and always had a smile on her face. Her only fault was it many times she was just too nice. <laughs> Janae was very dedicated to her academics as well as her athletic career and always found a way to balance everything. I can truly say that I can only count on my hand maybe four to five days that she really was even in a bad mood. And her positive attitude was contagious to all that crossed her path and in particular to her teammates. You've heard Janae's accomplishments were many as a middle blocker, an All-American, an academic All-American, All-Conference, All-Region, and was even selected to try out for the U.S. Volleyball um, team in Colorado Springs. And along with that, she graduated with honors. She also helped us qualify for the first ever NEA National Championship. And along with that, she was always a pivotal member of the Mustang basketball team. Janae, Vince Lombardi once said, inches make a champion, and we are lucky and fortunate to have all six foot one inches. <laughs> Enjoy this honor because you deserve it. You're one of our best. And to Jim, the only thing I can apologize for is that both Gabe and I were never able to truly teach her how to cook. We failed in that area. <laughs> but she is truly one of Southwest's very best. Help me in congratulating and introducing to you Janae Hutchinson Wright. Since you not only did Southwest have an awesome elementary education program, it was the one college at the time that said, okay, you can play both volleyball and basketball. Uh, the instructors, I remember being very supportive here whenever we'd have road games or matches on the road. Um, they provide, provide work that I'd miss, and a lot of the professors were at the games supporting the leading Mustangs, so I was happy to see them there. Um, I was always amazed at the community support. I'd be walking around Marshall, and the strangers would come up to me and ask, hey, when, when's the next game, or who do you play next? And in the metro area, we don't usually get that, so I'm like, this is kind of cool. <clears throat> I think, um, I, I really want to thank the committee for the nomination, um, my family for driving three hours each way from the Metro for both volleyball and basketball seasons. Um, even Carrie Russell comes to mind, uh, fourth grade, she was the leader of the girl group and we had a decision to make. Are you gonna go, are you gonna go for a cheerleading spot or basketball? And Carrie wanted to cheerlead, so so did we. And um, I'm glad though in fifth grade, um, Carrie wanted, maybe we should try this basketball and yep, we, we did basketball. So I don't know if I'd be here today if I didn't have that as a leader and influence too. But actually um, the coaches, Carmen DeCoster and basketball, um, Memory for her, um, every time we crossed the state border of Iowa, she always had to sing the state song. 
and Kelly Kruger, um, always remember in New Year's Day practices. Um, Deb Denbeck, um, too many memories with Deb, um, but I have to tell you, I've always been infatuated um, with, m maybe it's the football, but whenever you take the Gatorade, you know, dump it over the coach after a, a big win, I knew we had to do this. I didn't see a lot on the court, but when it was the 1991 um, National Qualifier game, we hosted it. I think it was a Wisconsin team. We knew we were going to win. We just knew. So I ran to the team um, training room, and I talked to Ari Kalb, and I go, R, is it going to affect the floor if we dump this on Deb's head? And this is before the game. And he goes, and he just thought for a couple minutes, and he goes, nah, go for it. And so we did end up winning. And Deb kind of knew what I was um, getting at, I think. And uh, we did get her hair, hair a little wet, and it didn't affect the floor too much. And we were able to qualify. And you have to remember, uh, the Nationals, the first two years I was here at Southwest, were held in Hilo. Hawaii. The year we qualified, it was Hayes, Kansas. So, <laughs> woo hey, you know what? We were very excited, though, to go. So that was, that was good. Um, but I, I really, Deb, as far as taking a raw player from high school, I think, and then turning somebody into, to be me into something to contend with on the court, I thank you for that, Deb. Um, all three coaches put education first and brought out not only new volleyball and basketball skills on the court, but also um, life skills as well. Um, I played with such great athletes from 1989 to 1993. Today it's very humbling to be recognized. Um, it's, it's just hard, I think, um, in a lot of sports you could have three or four awesome athletes and you go pretty far, whereas in the game of volleyball you consistently need the pass, the set, to get that good hit. Um, I think, uh, did he, did he, did he, let's see, I don't want to miss anything. Um, I was probably the last one of my friends um, in the metro to make the choice to live in a rural area right after high school, but attending Southwest State, uh, Southwest Minnesota State um, has really lended me to make the decision to um, live here, raise a family, and I'm working at Hendricks as an elementary school teacher. I love Southwestern Minnesota. Um, I think, I think Thank you again for the nomination, and I will remember this day for the rest of my life.